gold has started the week and the month on a bearish note last week in our weekly review we have seen that one red candle retracement body size getting diminished there is a pressure from the upside and that is where we have seen it yielding lower highs lower lows does it mean that next week we are going to look forward to a major crash in gold or is it just a retracement and a possibility of a bounce back still exist what is going to be our strategy profit trading gold next week we will see with the help of charts and indicators towards the end of the video i will give you the trading levels and strategy watch till the end if you are new to the channel subscribe to the channel to get latest updates i do release twice a day update for gold first with the asia and europe session next with the us session every day do not miss that and do like share and comment friends your every like share and comment is a great motivation become a channel member if you are not joined the memberships yet press the join button besides the subscribe icon let's start first let's have a look at the monthly charts on the monthly charts see 1 2 3 3 bullish candles and then diminishing body size and the preceding candle a swing candle here now swing candle suggest that this candle can again continue on the upside with the same momentum as long as the lows of preceding candle are not breached now where are the lows of the preceding candle close to 1970 levels now look at the lows of the preceding two candles if you just connect the dots you will find we are going to see 2020 levels as a critical support level 2020 2018 certainly is going to play a major role here in deciding the further movements in gold for the coming week another point to note here is the price is opened on the upside suggests that it can still reverse remember this is monthly chart so it will give you a vision for next 3 weeks 4 weeks for this month but let's have a detailed look see now another observation is the prices are divergent from the 20 period moving average and from the median of the bollinger bands where are these situated at around 1930 and 1880 levels also if you notice the movements here see the rise similar size of movement what we have seen prices retracing towards the lows this time it is still shying away from the highs of this channel and it is trying to reverse if it does try to reverse possibly couple of months from now we can expect it to move towards this zone but look at the moving averages these are still divergent and bullish the stock elastic on the monthly charts has come to overbought levels this is one point see here it has come to overbought level it has retraced here also it has come to overbought levels it can retrace but look at mag magd is still divergent is still bullish looking upwards also if you notice the magd the drop this is retracing here i will wait for a crossover which will take a little time if it trades bearish this month then only we can expect it to show for the bearishness rsi is comfortable so on the monthly charts mostly we have seen the major trend now look at the weekly chart on the weekly charts see observe the trend here forming the triple bottom we have seen this rise then the retracement to the bottom of the channel then the highs it is shied from the top of the channel yes it was also outside bollinger bands also remember the prices are divergent here from the 20 period moving average it has precisely come to the 20 period moving average it started to retrace again now after the retracement this was the first bearish candle remember this is the first bearish candle after three red candles thus it suggests that there could be second bearish candle which can be expected now so consider it like this one major bearish candle retracement and now again the downside how far it can drop we have to watch out first how it behaves see there are critical support levels 40 38 first support levels that is 20 38 2040 first support levels 2028 30 to the second and then 2020 levels if these three levels are taken in series you can say that the prices are turning bearish in fact i will say 2014 also you should include now it is only below 2014 we can say that now prices have turned extremely bearish and we are going to see gold below 2000 levels where the first support levels is going to come at 1990 and then at 1970 levels now look at the lower highs which suggest as long as now 2080 levels are not taken on the upside we are not going to treat gold as bullish as long as 2070 levels are not taken on 2080 levels are not taken on the upside we are not going to treat gold as bullish 
yes above 2080 is certainly the bulls will take over and then more bullish momentum may prevail now weekly stock stick is almost flat here while look at macd now see macd here first wave second wave and the third the wave has just started it is trading in green it is trading with more divergence thus possibly the coming week may see a little retracement which suggests that the prices might try to move with slight bearish bias but not complete reversal i will still not treat this as reversal which means as long as 1970 is not taken on the downside the possibility of a rise will be high here in the month of january itself so yes the next week can trade bearish we can see it moving towards 2020 2014 or in fact slightly lower levels towards 2000 before it bounces back now rsi is flat coming to the daily chart, look at the daily charts what has happened here the rise prices are divergent from the moving average it has converged towards the moving average also it has precisely closed to towards the 20 period moving average and the median of the bullinger bands precisely in the same zone this suggests that it is still acting as a good support level the next point here is see the rise retracement four to five bearish candles and then it is started to consolidate yielding lower highs and lower lows of this channel now as long as this channel is respected we should not be treating this as bearish or bullish either we cannot confirm that it has turned bullish and we cannot say that it has turned bearish why now see this after this rise this is forming a good bullish flag as long as it respects this not breaching on the downside and not breaking on the upside as long as it suggests it stays within the zone it is still a flag formation and a breakout can give a strong bullish move here which means that if any point of time in the coming week 2070 2080 levels are taken on the upside prices will turn bullish now after a few red candles it suggests that it can continue to retrace on the daily chart it appears the same but once the price is moves below 20 40 38 you can say that we are going to look forward to a down move be watchful here a stock stick has hit a bottom and trying to reverse while magd now see magd has crossed over trading with divergence trading bearish here and we all know that see MACD right now it is situated around this zone it has it is seen a rise from the bottom formed a double top and it has been trading in this zone for a while now right now if you look at last three candles have been red and it is showing divergence increasing body size this is certainly a bearish indication RSI is flat let's also have a look at the 4 hour similar observation on the 4 hour charts as well see this trading and forming this flag here it has to stay above 20 70 levels in order to confirm reversal right now the prices are very beautifully located within this zone a stochastic flat now see macd on the four hour charts it has seen a bearish move it has crossed over here trading with moderate divergence if it is bullish it has to reverse with a strong divergence which means bullish candles from the current level and if you look at rsi this is comfortable so now we have seen the charts we have seen the indicators time for me to give you the trading levels and strategy for the coming week and before we look into the levels here if you want to learn this art of trading you can be part of 28th mentorship batch the 28th batch is commencing on third week of january register yourself you can ask the details from me if you have any queries my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description or visit my platform www.forexfunda. on this platform you will also find the economic calendar where you get the live data releases from across the globe you will also find the charts with the advanced tools such that you can do your own charting at the time of news and take a position and yes you can discuss with the fellow community members there on the platform the next thing is you have a book a call option where you can schedule a call or consultation with me and this consultation can be completely free if you are part of our webinar series where every Sunday we conduct a webinar where we take a holistic view of the markets and I give you the nitty gritties of how to trade in the coming week.
do join the part of webinar series register visit the platform forexunder.com you will also find the details on my free telegram channel join the free telegram channel as well all the links are there in the channel and video description now with that first let's talk about the levels to buy now last week i had given an emphasis on the zone 2048 and 52 you have to be watchful you can take a buying position at around 48 be careful at around 52 beyond this i will look forward to see 2055 and 56 is the next resistance zone i will let right here 2055.5 and after this we are looking forward to 2062.5 once it breaks beyond this zone at 2062.5 next week we can say that prices are showing signs of bullishness where we are looking forward to 2071.5 and 2080 any point of time if you see gold is staying above 2040 in the month of january in the coming week any point of time if these two levels are taken in the next few weeks you should stay bullish for 2100 and after that 2120 levels as well yes if it stays above this zone any point of time in the next 2 to 3 weeks stay bullish for 2100 at least on the downside now we know that last week was the first bearish candle can we expect it to trade with the bearish bias possibility is there thus on the downside i will recommend you to sell here at 2040 levels itself expect 2036 and then the next strong support zone at 20 32 28 this zone you should watch out more carefully very very good support is available here now this time if it breaks below 28 i will be looking forward to 2020 first support levels this is also a very very good support and then 2014 now these are going to remain key support levels on the downside now once it stays below 2014 you can say prices are turning bearish and we will look forward to 2006 levels 2004 and 6 yes this is let me write it like this 2004 and 06 this is going to be the next support levels and after this i will be looking forward to 1991 and below this you can look forward to 1980 and below levels be careful again as i said it is still not bearish as long as 1970 is not taken on the downside it is still not be treated as bearish be careful prices might bounce back later in this month but these are markets as long as it trades bearish you have to just stay on sell do not hold the positions keep booking profits keep preempting that is how you can trade beautifully take positions accordingly like share subscribe and comment join the mentorship batch join my signals channel on telegram where we disc we trade as per the signals or be a part of the webinar series reach out to me via telegram or email or visit the platform forexhonda.com thank you